go. All right, today we're going to take a look at one of the more popular shears. This is our 8 inch shear. You can also get it in a 12, but the more popular one is an 8. Uh, it uses a four sided lower blade. You can rotate this to cut on any of the four sides. The upper blade, you can just stone that to get you a sharp edge or grind this surface. Most of the time, you're just going to rotate the bottom blade. This is a stop, so if you're cutting something very heavy and you need to get both hands on the lever, this will keep it from flying up and hitting you in the face. This will cut straight or outside corners. As long as you can reach the handle, it'll cut any length, any width. First, we're going to make a straight cut. It's like a pair of scissors. This can be any length, any width. You just push the material through and continue to cut. Now we're going to cut it off again. All right. Now if we want to cut that outside corner, we're going to go in here. We're going to have our mark scribed. And then we're going to turn this as we're cutting. Now sometimes you'll be cutting off a lot of material, so you'll have to make a couple cuts. So if I want to come back here and make this a little tighter radius, then I put it back in, and as I'm pulling on the handle, I continue to move the material to get my round edge. Then you can cut round objects through the hole here. As long as it'll fit through the hole, then it'll cut it. On this particular shear, it's around uh, 3 8 7 16. So I'm just putting a quarter inch bolt in there. This does need to be mounted to something secure. And I'm going to pull. And it cuts it right off. That's our 8 inch shear. Thanks for viewing. Be sure to view all of our other YouTube uh, videos. Thank you.